If this is your network, well, you need this network. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're looking to upgrade your business network, home lab, or Soho network, there are many choices when it comes to hardware. From all-in-one devices with routers that have VPNs and minimal configurations, to separate hardware that controls every aspect of your network. For instance, Ubiquiti has a line of products called Unify, which focuses on home, prosumer, business wired and business wireless networks. Unify has been around the longest and is quite popular, and it has paved the way for SDN prosumer networks. However, Unify is expensive, and if you're on a budget, then you need an alternative. Today's video is all about the alternative to Unify. This is the Omada line of products from TP-Link. This line of Omada hardware is designed to power up your business, home lab, or Soho networks. Omada's SDN platform integrates network devices, including access points, routers, and switches. This network platform is highly scalable and is controlled by a single interface and provides 100% cloud management, which is ideal for schools, retail, hospitality, or home networks. And yes, these hardware devices are quite affordable compared to the competition. Everything you see here is around $400, making this very affordable. We have four Omada products here, Let's start with the controller. This is the OC200 hardware controller for centralized management up to 100 devices like access points, routers, and switches, which eliminates the need to run a PC server. However, you could run the Omada software on your PC server or in the cloud without using this controller, which saves you $99. The OC200 is powered by PoE or using the micro USB port. The micro USB cable is not included. This controller is compact, lightweight, it has two ethernet ports, also a USB port and a reset switch, and can be wall mounted. This hardware solution provides easy and intelligent network monitoring with an intuitive and easy to use dashboard. Also the OC300, which is the next level up, can control 500 devices, which is great for larger businesses or organizations. This is the TP-Link ER605 Omada Gigabit VPN Router which provides a VPN tunnel and combines high security and a powerful firewall to protect your network and all its data. Also includes VLAN support and DOS defense. This VPN router is currently priced at $59, which is a great value. But remember, there's no Wi-Fi on this router. The ER605 is compact and pretty lightweight. It does come with a power cable and can be well mounted. The router has five ethernet ports, one WAN, two LANs, and two LAN or WAN ports depending on your network configuration also has a USB connection and a reset switch. This might be the smallest router I've ever owned. Next is the Jetstream 10 port gigabit smart switch with eight port PoE plus at 150 watts, which allows for multiple PoE cameras and PoE APs at the same time. This switch also includes two gigabit SFP slots. And this switch has 20 gigabits of switching capacity and is rack mountable. And yes, the hardware is included. This switch includes static routing, port isolation, and much more. I really wish they would have included a couple of 2.5 gigabit ports, but TP-Link has many other switches with those features. Matter of fact, TP-Link has a plethora of managed switches to choose from, so feel free to browse and find the one that works for you and your network. This switch is currently priced at $169.99. And lastly, this is the TP-Link. <laughs> This is the TP-Link EAP670 Wi-Fi 6 access point. The features that are included are the AX5400 Wi-Fi 6 speeds, the 2.5 gigabit PoE Plus wired performance, Omada mesh technology for multiple APs. This access point is PoE Plus powered, but does include a power supply and the mounting bracket and hardware. This access point is dual band up to 5.4 gigabits per second. Also includes load balancing, rate limit, and wireless scheduling. The current price for this access point is $148.99. Okay, first let's talk about two different kinds of networks. First is your basic home network, like a Soho network or small business network. And the second network is an SDN network, software defined network. But first let's talk about the basic home network, which is probably your network. This is the most common network you're gonna see in homes and small businesses. So first from the internet, we go to our ISP modem. Sometimes it's a modem router combo. Those suck, get rid of it. All you want is an ISP modem. Next, you're connected from the ISP modem to your wireless router. And typically this is a consumer grade router like Linksys, Netgear, TP-Link, Asus. And these routers have limited features when it comes to security. They do have firewalls, but most do not allow VPNs on the router. Those kind of routers are more expensive. Next, from your wireless router, you go to your switch. Typically, it's an unmanaged switch, which is a plug and play. And from here, you connect all your devices, like your computers, media server, file server. If this network has a managed switch, like a PoE managed switch, 
You can connect like PoE cameras and PoE access points. This is a pretty good upgrade for a basic home network, but it's not enough. Let me tell you why. Typically with this basic home network, all the hardware is different brands. It's a mix mash of brands. And how that affects the management of your network is huge. Because if you have a different brand of router and a different brand of switch, and they don't work well together, you have to manage each one separately. So the downside is there's no central management of these devices. They're all managed separately. Like I said before, there's a lack of security in these routers and switches. And this kind of network, the basic home network, is difficult to scale because of all the different hardware. And it's very time consuming. And this basic home network is not suitable for large businesses. It's just not. So that brings us to this network, the SDN, Software Defined Networking. And there's many SDN platforms out there, but today we're gonna to talk about TP-Link Omada. And the reason why we're talking about this today is because of the price point. The Omada line of products are budget friendly. So first let's talk about how this all works. Like your basic home network, you have your internet, an ISP, and your ISP modem. But that's the only thing we have in common with this network. After the ISP modem, we go to the VPN router. And for our setup, it's the ER605. A few benefits of this router is a firewall, VPN tunneling, DOS defense, load balancing, and multi-net DHCP. Now connected from the VPN router, we connect our switch, the Jetstream 10 port gigabit switch. And the first thing you wanna to connect to this switch is your controller, the OC200. This is powered by PoE, you plug it into a port, and you're good to go. This switch has eight port PoE plus at 150 watts, which means you can power several different PoE devices like cameras and access points. This switch also has two SFP ports. This switch also has VLANs and port isolation, static routing, rate limit, and seven security features. And speaking of PoE plus ports, from the switch, we connect our AP, which is the EAP 670. Once again, this is powered by PoE. Other devices that connect to this switch are computers, file server, media server, PoE plus cameras. And one more thing that's great about this setup, it's easily scalable, which means we can add another eight port or 10 port switch right here. And what's great about the controller and the cloud management, whenever you plug in a new hardware, it detects it automatically. So configuration is a breeze. Like I said before, this SDN network is so easy to scale, it's not even funny. So what are the benefits over this network versus a basic network? Well, really it's the exact opposite of this. Tons of options like VLANs, static routing, port isolation, rate limit, total monitoring of all your ports and all the data. The exact opposite of this. And for the amount of money you spend here, which probably is around $300, maybe more, for another $100, you can get this. And when it comes to your security, especially for a small business, there's no substitute for security. You can't afford to get hacked or have a data breach at your business because you won't have a business. So guys, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to set this up. Let's start with the ISP to the router into the LAN port right here, and from the LAN port on the router to a LAN port on the switch. Now, if you're gonna use the controller, whether it's the OC200 or the OC300, plug a cable in from the LAN port to the LAN port. Doesn't matter which port, just plug it in. This right here enables you to control the entire network. Like I said before, you don't need this. If you want, you can use your PC server in the cloud management. And connect a cable from any LAN port on the router to any LAN port on the switch. Next, we connected our AP the EAP670 to the switch via ethernet. Once again, you can plug it to any port you want. These are all PoE plus ports. And that's it, it's very simple. And I do love the TP-Link Omada app that gives you a device list, the dashboard, and settings. You can make configurations here or when you're not at home, pretty cool. Now logging into the PC interface dashboard is great too, just a bigger version. If you have bad eyesight, then use the PC version, it's easier. I've used Unify before and I'm familiar with the dashboard that they use. So the Amada dashboard is a little bit different, and I'm sure after a few weeks, I'll get used to it. But I've tried to find a flaw in the hardware or the software. I've tried to find something I just don't like, but I gotta say, I love it. It's great hardware for the price. Easily scalable, easy to set up, and easy to monitor. With the OC200 controller, you control 100 devices. And if you spend a little bit more money and get the OC300 controller, you control 500 devices. And that's great for a large business. To have business grade hardware at home consumer pricing is incredible. TP-Link hit a home run. I'm looking forward to testing out more of these products, including their Wi-Fi 7 routers. So keep an eye out for more Omada TP-Link videos. And like I said before, if you have this network, <laughs> well, you need this network. So guys, remember, like, share, and subscribe. And for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. Peace.